Over the last few weeks, we've seen countless experts and analysts speak out about the importance of data privacy. Cloudflare is no different. However, the company is implementing something that could help create a faster, safer, and more private internet for everyone. On Sunday, the company announced it is launching a DNS service for consumers called 1.1.1.1. Providing users a, a way to shorten load times of web pages and keep some data away from network providers. Here with us, Cloudflare co founder and chief operating officer Michelle Zatlin. Thanks so much for joining us on the show. Thanks so much for having me. I want to start with you know, this idea that Facebook and Google really aren't the worst of these companies. In fact, there are many other companies that know a lot more about us. Explain. Yeah, well, I mean, exactly right. I think right now in the news, there's a lot of conversation around privacy, as there should be. But this has been a conversation we've been having for a long time, and it kind of keeps coming and going because with technology, more and more people are getting online, and more and more, whether it's internet properties, your internet service provider, cookie, ad tracking cookie companies, there's lots of different companies who know a lot about you and what you're doing online. And as you think about that, you think, that's a little creepy. Right, what do they know? They know, they well, it depends on who it is, but it can know which websites you're going to, what you're clicking, which, which one you're clicking more of versus other sites, um, different ads that appear, which ones do you click through, which ones you don't, and that's why when you're you know maybe shopping for a new couch somewhere, then the couch or a new pair of shoes and it follows you around online and it's like, buy me, buy me, buy me. Do they use that data? A lot of companies do, and you know, there's kind of two sides of the argument. The one side is, well, if uh, a cons customer is coming and interested in learning more, and I know they want this new pair of shoes, of course, it should, I want to be very targeted in showing it to them over and over again. So eventually, you're like, okay, fine, put it in my checkout basket. I'm just finally going. I need, I need it. Buy it now. Um, and so there's that one side of the argument. The other side of the argument is like, where do you draw the line? And as a consumer, I think what we're seeing with a lot of these large tech companies or just tech companies in general is. I want to know who has my data and what you're doing with it. And, and that I don't necessarily want people or businesses to know exactly what I'm doing online. And I think that that's why this conversation keeps coming up over and over again around privacy of what can I do to be more private in my life? And what am I OK with a business having? And which businesses am I OK with it having? So Cloudflare's new product, yes. how does that restrict the amount of data that these companies can have about me? Well, one of the types of companies that knows a lot about you is whoever you're buying internet access from. So if you're at home, you have internet access, which most uh, households in America do. They know every single website you're visiting, every day, every night, every weekend. And you think about that and you think, ah, now they might not know what you're doing on that site, but they know exactly what sites you're visiting. Oh, and by the way, they know your name and where you live because they're your internet service provider. Uh, last year, about a year ago, the Senate removed, um, passed a new law where they said, if you are the internet service provider, so if you're buying internet from AT&T or for Comcast, that those providers can now sell the data that they have about you to advertisers. And you think, do you want that? Um, and so again, this idea of privacy has been coming up long and long. Six months ago, our technical team, you know, Cloudflare provides performance security and reliability to internet properties, but a bunch of engineers that we work with came up and said, we have to do something. It's one thing to talk about it, but it's another to actually come up with a solution to it. So, so what are you doing? Well, exactly. So what 1.1.1.1 is, it's a lot of ones. <laughs> uh, it's four ones. We launched it on April 1st. I was like, did I get that right? Yeah, okay. you did. It Just keep going. Just more <laughs> ones. You're good. Uh, and basically it is, is if you, for your internet access at home or at your business, you sign up for 1.1.1. It literally takes less than a minute to sign up. And it's, it's a privacy first DNS service. And most people don't know what DNS is. You don't need to know what it is. But it does. you do need DNS to get online. And you keep Comcast or AT&T as your internet service provider. But the DNS piece becomes 1.1.1. And now it's privacy first. No, we will not track what you're doing online. Uh, we were so they will not be able to see where I'm going if I use your product. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So you know, what, what's your take on the responsibility or the lack thereof that companies like Facebook and Google have taken on this? Like, should they be doing more not to have that information? Or not to collect that information? Or to anonymize that information? 
I'm a definitely a glass half full sort of person. So if I look for a silver lining and what's going on right now is I think it's creating conversations of like what are the responsibilities. And you know, when I think about as a leader, I run a, t a large tech company and I think there are like four constituents that we have a responsibility to. First is your shareholders, mm -hmm. right? You need to do well by your shareholders. You need to do well by your customers. You need to do well by your um, employees, which is really important. And then you need to do well by your communities. And I think that the new model of leadership for tomorrow is thinking about all four of those constituents. And I think a lot of the issues that come up are when you get one of them wrong. Mm -hmm. um, and so I definitely think the new age of leadership is to think about all four constituents and the companies who do that are the ones who are gonna grow and, and, and capitalize on the opportunity going forward. And I think that's a good thing.